My guest tonight has just come off winning a gold medal with the Opals at the Commonwealth Games and set a record for the most points in a WNBA game. Would you please welcome Liz Cambay? <laughs> I want to start with your record. In July, you broke the WNBA record for the most points ever scored in a game. It was 53 points. Yeah. So, I have no at, idea. at what point in the game did you find out you were close? Like, did someone come up to you and go, "You're 10 points off the record"? You're like, "I'm not passing to anyone." I had no idea until I was subbed off at the end that I had just broken a record. I just thought I was having like a crazy good game, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then my teammates were like, "You've just broken the record." I just, I just broke the what? You're like, shouldn't balloons be falling from the ceiling at that point? Like, they should make a bigger deal out of that. It's the WNBA. They don't have the money for that extra, <laughs> for that extra stuff. But no, it, it was, it was pretty dope. Yeah. It, that, that's not your only entry in the record books, though. I'm going to play no. some footage right now. Here's some footage of you. That's you driving straight to the hole, dunking over some, I'll be honest, pretty lacklustre defence. <laughs> um, now, that doesn't seem that incredible, but that was the first time a woman had ever dunked at the Olympic Games. Yeah. I do have to say there was a reason that my defender was behind me, and that's because we were kind of having a fight at the other end and we got a bit tangled and I might have, like... And you gave her a wedgie and ran. <laughs> Something like that, but yeah, I, uh, I ended up breaking away and she left me way too open and then boom, I made history and I didn't even know that was even a thing. I didn't know that no one had ever, no female had dunked before at the Olympics. So, so why, why do you think it took so long for a woman to dunk at the Olympics? I think it's just evolution of the game. You know, we have girls in high school dunking now and I really hope I'm retired before they get to the league because <laughs> they, <laughs> in America, the, the young girls are killing it, but um, it's just, yeah, evolution and a human's development. Developing. Now, you're about to head back to the States to mm -hmm. play uh, the upcoming season in the WNBA. Mm -hmm. Who are you playing for this season? Uh, I'm not really to go allowed to go into that right now, but uh, I'll be But heading. it's like two <laughs> weeks away, yeah? I Here's know. the thing, I feel like you can get in... I know! Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like you can get in trouble for talking about it, and yeah. that so makes me want to talk about I it. I know, same, but, you know, I have to be a good girl for once in my life and just be patient, but I, I will be heading back in a couple of weeks. Does it rhyme with Boss Bangelis? <laughs> <laughs> but you're quite outspoken. Like, it's, it's quite uncommon for you to be so shy and retiring about something. Mm. You've been, <laughs> but you've been quite outspoken about the way that, that women are treated differently in sport. Mm -hmm. And we've also recently lived through um, Serena Williams bringing issues like that yeah. to the table. So how do you think we're going with gender equality in sport? Well, if you look at the NBA compared to the WNBA, uh, we make, I think it's half of 1% of what the men are allowed to make. What? Yeah. You should be protesting. Mm. Yeah. yeah. See, that there, that, that, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Half, of people. <laughs> half of 1%. Yeah, and it's a salary capped league and, you know, um, you know we've, we've all come together in the WNBA and we're, we're trying to change our CBA, our collective bargaining agreement at the moment. So hopefully for the years to come it will be different. But right now we're, we're salary capped and we're stuck not making that much money over there. Here at the ABC we're permanently salary capped. So that's... Uh, <laughs> We're in solidarity. Uh, now, I, I, I read something else. You, you were talking about um, your upbringing and you once said that you were raised white. Yes. What do you mean by that? Because I was also raised white, but I, <laughs> but I had a feeling we had a different experience. Probably a little bit. As you can see, I am a person of colour. Just noticed. Just, yeah, if you haven't realised it. <laughs> I, w I, was, I was raised by my mum, who was white, and, you know, she raised me amazingly, but... Um, you know, I was never in touch with my black side growing up in a very whitewashed Australia. Yeah. And so, so how did you, how did that become part of your consciousness? Like you, mm -hmm. there was a, you know, famously a bit of a blackface controversy mm -hmm. within within the Opals. Mm. Um, was it was it controversies like that that brought that attention to you, or the experience of being in a more racially diverse culture like America? Yeah, I guess I spent all my teenage years trying to look like all the girls I would see on Australian TV, which are, you know, white blonde girls with blue eyes, and I would straighten and dye my hair, I'd wear blue eye contacts to school, and I got to a point where I was 16 and I realised this isn't me and this isn't who I am, and I just cut that all out and, you know, really owned myself and who I was, and it wasn't until I moved to America it showed me how you know, diverse and put to the front, people of colour and all, you know. It's such a diverse country and everyone's put on show there. And here in Australia, we, you know, 
market ourselves as a multicultural country, but we never see that on TV here. Now, let's talk about how you got into basketball in the mm -hmm. first place. I've actually got a clip here. This is your mum, Julia, talking about it. Have a look at this. It was evident that there was something really gifted about her as an athlete even though she couldn't dribble, catch, or pass. <laughs> so, but she's come a long way. Given your complete lack of skills, how did you make it in basketball? I was so bad. I was so, so bad when I started. And I only started basketball because I was really struggling to make friends. And then one Sunday morning, my mum woke me up and dragged me down to Western Port Basketball Stadium and... Yeah, that was that. I had no idea what I was doing out of bed on a Sunday morning, especially running around. I was so not athletic as a kid. So what, what did your mum do to encourage you through all of that? <laughs> she told me once I, uh, once I make my first basket in a game, that should give me $10 and I get to choose which movie I'd want to go to. Wow. And, and, and I think that's the same pay at the WNBA now, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> you get a, you get a batch of the <laughs> <laughs> Now, you are actually, you are very good at shooting. Yeah, you're you're very good from, from the free throw line. Yeah. See, I do a bit of shooting around the office as well. Oh, really? But uh, I do it a little differently. I shoot scrunched up bits of script into my waste paper basket yeah. in my office. It's the same thing, man. So we are going to go one on one. I've actually oh, brought it in. Oh, no! Yes! This. <laughs> so this is the door from my office. That's my waste paper basket. No. Here are some scrunched up scripts. We're going to take. I just Every time I do this in public, like, it's horrible. Like, people will always be like, you're meant to be an elite athlete. You're meant to play basketball. So, oh, thank if you, you think, if... for bringing my worst nightmare to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think I'm going to go easy, you have another thing coming. So, okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. Okay? And if you think I didn't practice this for hours <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Now, um, so it's your turn now. Walk off this set. No, 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 no. <laughs> Scott, you're a professional athlete. Toughen up. Now, now, just before you shoot, you are you are the visiting team. So, okay. um, defense. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being told we are out of time, so unfortunately <laughs> I win 1-0. But thanks for playing. Would you please thank Liz Campbell?